The key to any successful defensive system begins with proper positioning of the defenders. Covering the players without the puck is just as important as defending against the puck carrier. As much as players must be prepared to pressure the puck in one-on-one -on -one situations, support away from the one-on-one -on -one is equally critical. All players must work together and be prepared to defend as a group. Communication is key to ensuring that everyone understands their responsibilities and provides support and direction to each other. Defensive zone coverage, basic. Coaches may find it easier to divide the defensive zone into smaller areas. Basic defensive zone coverage starts in zone one, the contact zone, with D1 playing the puck carrier. Depending on the gap and the puck carrier's level of control, the defenseman should either pressure or contain. The first forward back supports D1 by taking up a position in zone two. By playing slightly off the puck and in a defensive side position, F1 is available to jump to a loose puck or play the one-on-one -on -one if D1 is beaten off the wall. Zone three or net front coverage is the responsibility of the second defenseman. D2 should have his feet facing up ice and his head on a swivel when in zone three coverage. Zone four, the high slot, is patrolled by F2, the second forward back. The responsibility of F2 is to cover the offensive weak side defenseman or sag to net front coverage in support of D2. Zone five is the responsibility of the third forward. F3 must play on the defensive side of the strong side offensive defenseman and should be ready to intercept a pass to the point. Defensive zone coverage, rotation. If the puck moves from one corner to the other, defensive players should switch sides by moving through the slot. Here, D2 jumps from net front position into zone one. F1 tracks the play by moving across the slot, reassuming zone two. D1 moves into net front coverage in zone three. Before moving to zone five, F2 must hold zone four until F3 moves into the high slot position. Defensive zone coverage, shade versus overload. Shading in the defensive zone is a modification of basic defensive zone coverage. The net front defenseman shades or moves to take away the options of the third offensive forward. If the net front defenseman shades, the zone four forward